I just saw a really nice Oh wow, 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 wow. Whole entire apartment is thrown away right here. That was hilarious. I don't know if he was watching me the whole entire time, but there was a guy in a raised truck that was inside his truck and he was totally, he wasn't like staring at me. He might've been on his phone, didn't even notice me. But as I was backing up and leaving from that last really good haul, I saw him sitting in his truck and I just started laughing. I was like, you know what? No harm, no foul. He saw me walk to my car with a bunch of stuff. I got some sort of futon thing here. All right, great news. I took the fake flat thing and took some other great little items here let me go ahead and flip the camera around here so this is actually super cool and you're like Chris what is that sorry for the glare of the plastic there those are AKG wired headphones that come with the new Samsung phones when I bought my s20 plus pre-owned the guy didn't give me the uh, AKG earphones so that was super cool to find those I also found this little toy car a nice little little door handle as well and then also with the AKG headphones I found another pair in the box with the penny and nickel and quarter wraps they were used so we'll have to swab them up with some rubbing alcohol but that pair is brand new sealed love it I just saw a really nice fake plant or real plant right over here so let's go over here and take a look I'll tell you what, sometimes fake is better than real. You can actually plant fake ones. Why not? Because they're not going to grow or die on you. So we got some sweet house goals things in the books for today. Oh, yeah, not to mention, since I'm actually going back this direction, there was a family around. There were a couple other little decoration pieces. So we got the fake orchid. We got the fake green thingamabobber. Man, house goals is going to look pretty sweet. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessings. I'm not a very good dumpster diver. I just pray and then I uh, kind of anticipate answer to prayers. All right, we gotta jump out real fast and take a look at this one because a lady and her daughter are coming real quick. Very nice piece once again. I left the uh, kind of the wicker basket one, but I grabbed, kind of hard to see, but I was able to grab the purple threaded one uh, woven. Actually, very nice. I grabbed all four of the small, I think they're kind of uh, wine glasses minus the stem. So you can kind of hear them clanging around in the back there. And what that will be for is that will be for a decoration with like a little fake flower thing in there. Or the other option is use that for maybe a basket for doggy toys. Some really sweet pillows you could throw on the ground right in front of your projector theater. You know what I would love to find would be a restoration hardware cloud couch. All right, I thought it was a printer, but it's actually two banker boxes that are right over here with what looks to be a piece of like laminate wood or wood on it. So I'm gonna go in for a closer look.
I just totally got caught super bad, but I was able to grab a lot of Ikea goodies. So sometimes, let's see here, books. Um, whoa, a lot of shoes up there on the half wall. We're gonna go around. This one has been really hot as well. There's a desk, but it kind of looks a little bit beat up right over here. And then there's a lamp, which you can't see. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. Well, nice shoes, definitely too small for me, so I just left them all, but we got some Adidas slips, Asics shoes, all sorts of goodies. All right, let me set this shot up there, some action over here, but there's a Uber delivery person chair and what looked to be some sort of plant-ish type thing. We'll go ahead and let it pass. There was somebody organizing their garage and then the Uber uh, delivery uh, driver for Uber Eats was also right in front of it. And so no harm, no foul. If it was something really good, I'd probably wait it out. On a side note, I got probably the best dumpster I can find ever, which is gonna be a laundry hamper right there. All right, let's take a look at the plunder. Ignore the printer. That I need to list on eBay and test. I just leave it right here for my inconvenience, so I need to do it. <laughs> anyway, beautiful. We saw that right there. Very large as well. That's a good solid, oh goodness, easy three and a half feet or so ballpark, maybe even higher. Nice little fake green plant. Coming to the fake orchid white plant i think that looks absolutely stunning in a cool little um glass or ceramic uh vase let's go ahead and look at the bottom not for food use may, may poison food okay good to know i don't see any sticker on the bottom of that for home goods or ross or anything like that but I thought that was an absolute awesome piece. I'm very stoked on those for house goals decoration. It's in great shape, not dusty at all, very nice. Coming over here to this, this was pretty cool. This is two small glasses, kind of, again, kind of wine glasses, juice glasses. We'll wash those up. I like that color better myself. And then this is a nice kind of a wicker basket. It's actually kind of brown, purplish. If you look at it in the right color, it looks kind of black on screen, uh, but it's kind of like a woven, kind of cool though, nonetheless. Some dog toys or put something in there real frothy like. Okay, coming over to this, this was pretty cool. They actually had it painters taped with the screws in the back and that's an Ikea floating shelf right there. I'm pretty sure it's Ikea. Uh, don't quote me on that one. Flipping it over here, that's your kind of your hook in the back, and they actually taped on, just a little dusty, we're gonna clean that, and they taped on the back bracket. This was actually found with this big box right here, and we have some really goodies in here. We're gonna go through that in just a second. Coming over here to the curtain rod, that just screws on the end of that. Uh, extendable which uh, extends pretty far, actually, to be honest with you. Probably, again, paint that matte black for house goals. Okay, here's the train tracks. Looking absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and double check to make sure they're new, but the boxes look new that we picked up earlier in the day. So check this out. These are the train tracks, and we're looking really good on a couple of these. Let's see what the brand new ones are going for. Right there, $39.85 and $20.95 plus $13.90 shipping. That's for one box. I found two boxes. That was a great score. Thank you, Lord, for that. There is 
Three boxes right there. Wow, that sold for over $100. That's crazy talk. Uh, and it looks like a lot of them have actually sold recently in the last week or so for some good prices. So that was a great score. Now I'm gonna go ahead and double check, but I mean, those look new in the box. Put those over there for a second. Coming here to this, this is a Petmate Deluxe Vera Kennel Jr. Very nice. Uh, let's see here. I think you, what do you, what do you gotta do? Okay, there we go. There we go. And then you, yeah, boom. Who let the dogs out roof roof we got a little pet here and there so in this size uh the puppy it's gonna be a surprise uh the reason i grabbed this was um not for crate training this is very small this is almost like for a little itty bitty doggy or a cat um puppy could fit in here and the only reason i grabbed that was because i'm debating whether to fly home with my puppy or uh drive with my puppy and the puppy would definitely fit in there right now, uh, but it's not ready to go home quite yet. So I just grabbed it because I do need something like that just in case I do fly home that could fit underneath the seat in front of me on Southwest. I'm just a little iffy about taking a new puppy on a plane with a layover, trying to find a bathroom, etc. So I'm thinking about renting a car. Let's just put it over there for right now. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and check out this. Nice little door handle, again right there, all the hardware, brand new AKG earphones we already saw, cool toy car. There's the other pair of AKG headphones, loosened. Uh, nice little carabiner right there for a dog leash. I found that when I went in for this. And now let's go ahead and go right here with you here and let's go ahead and see what we got here. So we got a Fly G, Fly G that looks like old Ikea right there. There's actually a halogen bulb in there as well. Um, that definitely looks old school Ikea, 2003 I was going to say. And uh, we got some ethernet cables I'm going to use for house goals. I'm going to hardwire uh, my surprise and uh, let's go ahead and see what this is. This looks like a basket. Uh, basket, is that like a, not a brand new, but yeah, that's like a whole entire, like a bathroom something or other here, a uh, light fixture. Let me, let me look into this. Hold on one second. So yeah, whoever threw this stuff away, uh, literally probably had this in their garage for quite a while. That is brand spanking new. Probably goes back 15 plus years. Uh, 2003 was the other one, right? This says 2005, going back 15 years. Yeah, and I literally just pulled it out of the box. It does have the bulbs inside as well. Looks like the hardware is in there as well. I'm going to look this up on eBay and see if this is worth some cash being vintage and probably discontinued. Got the little lights right there. That might be kind of cool for like a bedside or above your bed reading lights because these are uh, retractable here and they retract down and you could just spray paint that a different color if you didn't like that. You could spray paint the whole entire thing to kind of match your motif. I do kind of like the Mr. and Mrs. Uh, reading with the reading lights tilting to the direction you need. Anyway, I'm gonna go look that up on eBay. Uh, let's see here. And I'm not sure exactly what I would use this for. I'll look this up on eBay as well. Looks like it's just been literally sitting in a box. Little dusty cord there. It's a halogen bulb, which is in the box. And then this tilts. And again, that is the Fly G light by Ikea, 2003. 18 years old. Maybe 19? Yeah, 19 now? Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.